Hello everyone, I'm Sharpshire, and welcome back to Red Dead Redemption. I'm not sure how good the audio quality or anything is right now, but I think it's okay. I had to mess with it a little for my earbuds, because I have to use different earbuds, because my other ones um, were still in my pocket, and they were washed, so they don't work anymore. And I was trying to record this yesterday, but the recording messed up. So, wasn't able to record the saving John, John Marston, he's the main character of the first one. Missed that recording, so, gonna have to keep going. <laughs> I wish I could have recorded that, but wasn't able to. We're gonna starve to death up here, Mr. Morgan. We're okay. We Let me know how the audio is of food in the comments. Rabbit. For what? 10, 12 people? When I was in the Navy. I, I do not wish to hear about what you got up to in the Navy, Mr. Pearson. We were stranded at sea for 50 days. And you unfortunately survived. When we ran away from Blackwater, I wasn't able to get supplies in. Well, when government agents are hunting you down, sometimes shopping trips need to be cut short. We'll survive. We always have. And if needs be, we can eat you. You're the fattest. I sent Lenny and Bill hunting, and they found nothing. Well, Lenny's more into book learning than hunting. Bill's a fool. Unless those mountains are full of game that want to read, ain't no wonder they found enough nothing. of this. We'll go find something. Come on, Arthur. Wait a second. Hold on. Uh, here. You're gonna need some need out there. Assorted salted off. Starving would be preferable. Come on, let's go. You can't go hunting. Look at your hand. I can't stay here listening to you two. Look at this game in those hills, I'll find it. And you can kill it. You need to rest, Charles. You think this is rest? Come along. Charles was def definitely one of my favorite characters in the game. I like Charles, Lenny, yeah. uh, John. You take this. I can't use it, and you'll have to. Oh, uh, you're joking. Use a gun. And a few others. And we'll scare off every animal for miles around. I right. never too oh. old to learn. I imagine. I turned my sound off on my phone. All right. Let's head out. I love hunting in this game. But I think this is up, my favorite game so okay. far that I've played. Hand. Stupid mistake. Still bad. It'll be fine in a day or two. I just can't pull a bow right now. Uh, sure hope I can. Never really got the hang of it. You'll be fine. <sighs> so, you reckon we're gonna find something to kill that ain't no Driscoll? Huh. There's meat up here for sure. Pearson doesn't know what he's talking about. Now the weather's eased off a bit, they'll be needing to feed. We'll head up this way, find some higher ground. Whew. Been a wild few days, all right. That ride north from Blackwater, getting stuck in the storm, bringing John back in. You've had a lot put on you. I wish I could have done more. I didn't mean it like that, just a lot to think back on. I still don't really know what happened on that boat. Me neither. <laughs> well, Javier told me a bit, but it sure weren't good. I'm, I think I'm going to start doing a lot more story-driven games and stuff on my channel. Because... I don't. I haven't really felt like playing any of the survival games I have right now, and I don't know why. But I just haven't really felt like like we're playing them or anything. But the story-driven games I've really wanted to be playing lately, so I think I'm gonna do a lot more of them and more Mountain Blade, definitely. Um, but I don't know. It's just something about recording story-driven games. It just seems a lot better. I don't know why. There's some patches of grass here. This is good. Come on. Let's try this way. Keep your eyes peeled for movement. Hmm. 
The wind's died down too. That's good. No wind at all is bad, but if it's too strong, they won't move. Now shh. Stay quiet. I'm gonna Stop try and get second. just cause uh, I something. four sometime too. I four? think that'd be good to record. <clears throat> and maybe some GTA. Cause I've never played GTA 5. There's deer been here recently. How can you tell? How can you not? Let's you can walk see the tracks the way through, Arthur. How can you You're not gonna tell? need the bow. Don't leave it on your horse. A gun will scare everything around. Quiet as you can. Stay low <laughs> and move slowly. Yep, tell me to be quiet. I was just sitting there running through the snow. Hmm. Oh, okay, let's go. Oops. Wait. You see the tracks? I uh, yeah. think so. Maybe not. Focus. Yep. There's track. Follow me. Crouch back down. Yes, yes, you said so. Quiet. It's easy in the snow, but once you get your eye in, you'll be able to track nearly as well as. Yeah. Uh, okay. Straightaway. Can't really see the line in the snow. Blends in. Right, leads up this way. Wait, look. There it is. There they are. Quick, get that bow out, Arthur. Aim. Nice. Got it. See if you can get another one. I'll keep tracking it. I don't remember where the other deer are. I know they're out here somewhere. Is there another track up here? No. Over there. There they are. Oh, hello. You probably hear breathing on the mic. That's one of my cats. Go girl, there you go. I'd help her climb up on stuff where she wanted to lay down. She just got there eating. She's also kind of small, so it's hard for her to climb around on things on her own. Got it. Gotcha. Well done. I think that's all we can carry. I will get the deer up to the far right. I'll get the other. You sure your hands okay? Is it a clean kill? I can't tell where I hit it. My arrow's not on. I think I hit it pretty much in the head. Yeah. I, don't know. I was thinking on here how. Uh, well, the horse's mind and stuff. And I wish my dog would mind like that. She's about the size of a small horse. One of those, like, Shetland ponies or something. Oh, Oops, boy. like a horse. I didn't know that. Okay, boy. Yeah. Ready to head back when you are. Come on, then. Let's head back. I think my dog is supposed to be a uh, husky. Um, she looks nice like work, German Arthur. Shepherd Should too, and maybe Great Dane. You found him. I it looks like a mix okay of those three. Yeah, it's easier when they ain't shooting back. <laughs> We've seen enough of that. Considering how things were looking a couple of days back, well, maybe our luck's finally on the turn. Seems to me we should be putting our effort into getting off this mountain now. Soon. People are still weak, and you've seen how snowed in those wagons are. 
They ain't going nowhere until we get some more thaw. Mm, you're probably right. And even if we do get off here, what then? We still have a big price on our heads. This is a big country. We'll find somewhere to lie low. Dutch and Jose will have a plan. I was on my train and had oh, a bottle in his hand ever since we fled Blackwater. We give the camp cook five minutes to grab the essentials and go, and he doesn't even bring a crumb of food. Good that we caught more than one. A lot of mouths to feed. That girl from the ranch now too, but not sure she'll be eating much. She has a wild look in her eye. You would too. She lost her husband, her home, everything she had. Oh. So what do we do with her? Once we get out of here and we're back on our feet, we'll see. She might have family somewhere. So it was O'Driscoll's you ran into there? Yeah. <laughs> Last thing we was expecting. What is it with the O'Driscoll's? You ain't dealt with them? I suppose. Hell, we ain't run into them much the last six months. I guess because they've been over this way. Yeah, I've heard a lot of talk about them. Well, we've been scrapping over scores with them for years. Big gang, nasty sons of bitches. Their leader, Cole, and Dutch go way back. And not in a good way. A proper blood feud. So I heard. Watch out. Bear up ahead. Let's see if we can find another way around. He's got a lot of meat on him. We've got enough here. No need to push our luck. Hmm. Can I? Can't save it. Charge! Real hungry. Stay well back. Spring. Like this, yeah. or worse for animals that sleep all winter. That's a bad idea. What are you doing? Get him! Charles after I killed his bear. Oh, come on. Seriously, though. I almost killed that bear. They're not that hard hey, to kill. Arthur, you awake back then? Yeah, just thinking. We ain't ever talked that much, you and me. How long you been with us now? Five, six months? Something kind of far back, but no. Well, you didn't dead. expect this. What? Any of this? Video's gonna be a little Blackwater late, though. Mess. Being up here? Ah, uh, sooner or later, a job's gonna go wrong. Nature of life. I just thought you might have moved on by now. You want me to move on? No, no, not at all. I just I know you could run it alone, no problem. I did that for a long time. I'm done with it. Always wondering if someone's gonna kill you in your sleep. I still wonder that most nights. <laughs> I reckon you're okay. This suits me. Sure, I could fall in with another gang, but Dutch. You know, Dutch is different. Oh, yes. Dutch is certainly different. He treats me fair. Most of you do. And for a fellow with a black father and an Indian mother, that ain't normally the case. Well, we need you now. More than ever. Good. And how long have you been with these boys? Why ain't you run off? Me? Oh, 20 years, something like that. Since I was a boy. 20 years? Yeah. He taught me to read. John, too. Tell me a few other things, him and Hosea. Huh. 
I'm sure. You done saved me. Saved most of us. That's why we need to stick by him through this. He always sees us right. How's that new horse? He's all right. He'll do for now. I appreciate you letting me take Taima the other night. She's a strong one. It's been as hard on the horses as on the rest of us. I don't know what Dutch would do if something happened to the Count. Same with Bill and Brown Jack. He's a drunk, miserable bastard, but he loves that horse. <laughs> I hope they all make it. I tried to ride the Count once. Fuck me faster than a bull. Won't take nobody but him. I'm gonna hitch time over here. Got some food back, boys! Come on, let's get these over to Pearson. Uh, thank you for showing me how to use the bow properly. I only showed you a little. It takes a lifetime of practice to master. Well, well, well! <clears throat> what a surprise! Find a camp rat loitering around in the kitchen. Is that any way to greet an old friend? I feel like we haven't spoken for days. I do my utmost to avoid. Ah, he loves me, really. It's his sad way of showing affection. No, it isn't. Now shoot, get lost. Uh, well, see you gents later. See, you got on just fine. Charles is a wonder. Have a drink, boys. You earned it. Jesus, what is that? Navy rum, sir. It's the only thing. The only thing. <laughs> Keeps you sane, it does. Yeah, it oh. seems to have done a treat on you. You go rest that hand, Charles. I'll be fine in a few days. You mind helping me with the skinning, Mr. Morgan? It's easier if we do it together. Do I get to skin you? <coughs> You're always one with the jokes, aren't you? Come on. This really isn't a job for a man with a burnt hand. I'll see you both later. You skin that one, you, you dumped on the floor there. Skin is really good in this game. Huh. Not too bad, Mr. Morgan. Yeah. They always said you were a butcher. You know, you could trade these or sell these in pretty much any town. If you're looking to make a legitimate bit of money, of course. Right now, I'm just looking to get off this mountain alive. Well, if you catch anything else, you bring it to me. Sure. <laughs> Thank you, Mr. Morgan. Heck, Arthur Morgan's first decent bit of hunting after all these years. <laughs> yeah. Well, we're on the run now. Everyone's got to do their bit to survive. Just make a good stew. Folk need it. It's been a tough few days. <sighs> That's all time for today, and I'll see you in the next video.